back to the next video so in today's video i will be continuating uh, continuing uh, with shaders part 3 in 3j so if you haven't watched the initial parts do check it out because uh, there i have explained how to set up shaders for next js so yeah let's get started so continuing on uh, with the previous project uh, what i have uh, explained to you guys that i was loading some texture and here you can use any kind of a texture so in this tutorial i will just explain you how to uh, you know a wave you, like add some kind of an animation to your texture uh, so all i have done is i have uh, taken our texture uh, then uh, this is same stuff as usual and inside our material i have done u frequency u time u color and u texture we are, which in ways we are passing these values from uh, javascript side to our shader and inside our vertex uh, shader.glsl uh, here i have taken a few variables like v uv v elevation position and uv uh, as well as this few variables this two uh, then here you can see this is same as usual but after that i have defined another variable called elevation and uh, i am updating the x uh, of u frequency similarly then i am assigning uh, the same of y as well for a model position and u frequency to elevation and then that elevation is applied to the model position z and i think this remains the same and uh, this is uh, here we are passing uh, the values from vertex uh, shader to fragment shader so here you can see these values are retained and in fragment shader you can directly use texture 2d because you are passing the texture from javascript side uh, to the uh, to the shader side and this is how we set the color to it rgb and then finally uh, assign it to frag color so yeah that's it